Team Supreme, y'all know what it is, man. Live reactions to something you and your big forehead grandfather got to deal all the way with. Now, look, my homegirl Bridget came through, and we got Ella Langley and Riley Green. I don't know if I did a reaction to Ella before. The name sounds familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it's new people on the channel, though, okay? And we got, um, you look like you love me. All right, so we're about to dive into this, man. Y'all already know what to do. Go out there and do something nice for somebody without expecting something in return. Don't block your blessings. We got too much negativity in the world as is, so just be kind and positive. Spread love. You never know what somebody is going through, and we don't need your fuckery to push somebody over the edge, all right? All right, with your punk ass. Let's get it. Oh, this a bluegrass? I was all but 22, I think at the time. I'd been out on the road. Well, how old are you now? Cause you look like you 22 right now. I was all but 22, I think at the time. I'd been out on the road, lonely at night. And it'd been a while, <laughs> so it was on my mind. Okay. Well, I saw him walk in with his cowboy hat. And I thought to myself, I could use some of that. His boots like glass on a sawdust floor. <laughs> Had moves like nothing I'd ever seen before. So I walked right up and I pulled him to the side. I handed that man a beer, looked him in the eyes. All right. And I said, baby, I think you're gonna wanna hear this. She fine. Shit, she fine. Ella Langley? I might gotta go get on. I, I might gotta go be Outlaw Truth for a minute. Shit, girl. Then I told him, Excuse me. You look like you love me. Ha! You look like you want me to want you to come on home. Yeah! I mean, if, you, if we gonna be truthful about it, I do. Well, I'll be. Well, shout out to Bridget for introducing me to my next baby mama. Like, I, I just see a lot of stuff going on. Like, like a lot of, like, I just picture me in that bar at that time. I would have had my shirt off by now. She would have came up to me and gave me a drive. I'd have had my shit off before she even handed it to me. I'd have had my shit off. Girl, what's up? What are you talking about? I'm just saying. Like, I hope I hope Riley Green don't come in here and fucking up my vibe. Because I, I, I'm in a good mood right now. He might come in here and fuck it all the way up. Because I really feel like this song is about me. So I, I really hope he don't come over here ruining my house. I hope he just play background music. Dang. Well, I was down at a local beer joint with a few of the guys. This cute little country girl called mine. And boy, let me tell you, she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen in a pair of boots. Well, she walked right up to me, handed me a beer, gave me a look like, let's get out of here. And that's when I realized that she was every cowboy's dream come true. She told me this right here. She said, Excuse me, you look like. I like this. You look like you want me to want you to come on home. And baby, I don't blame you for looking me up and down across this room. I like this. I'm drunk and I'm ready to leave. And you look like you love me. All right, now. All right, girl. Shit. We in the same game. See, and the thing about us, we will make such beautiful music because I go get my guitar or my violin y'all, or my harmonica. Y'all know I'm very diverse in the live music scene because we already have a connection. That's why I know deep down this song is about me. She just maybe didn't know it yet. You know what I'm saying? 
So like I think the 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 whole thing about like being able to play live instruments together as one as a couple, like that goes a long way. And I and and I, I can play multiple instruments. You know what I'm saying? Like I can I, I can play multiple instruments and while she's in the background, she she's like she's singing and shit. I can Morgan Wallen and this shit. I'll rap. You feel me? I'll rap. Like we we got a lot in common. You know what I'm saying? We really got a lot in common. And um, I can't wait to meet her. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. To, so that way we can do this. It's going to work out. It's going to work out for the, for the best, for the both of us. For the both of us. So if you ever see a man in a cowboy hat, and you think to yourself, I could use some of that, don't waste your time. Just give him this here line. Goes a little like this. Excuse me. You look like you love me. Hey, but far as this video, how they showed you like the warm up or the rehearsal or whatever they sound check, whatever they was doing, and then how they fill up the 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 crowd, and you can see like the time they got like an hour long set. Like that's dope. You look I do, girl. I'm trying to tell you. I do. I wrote you a letter and everything. Like, it's in an envelope. Seal it with a kiss, girl. I just need your address. Well, shout out to Bridget for playing matchmaker. Um, I, I, I appreciate you showing me my future. And, um... I definitely didn't react to her because I already like I already know now like this since this is the first song that I've ever heard from her and I know it's about me. So it's super like it was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you. And um if y'all want more, I think we got another reaction from her coming up too. So if y'all want more other than that or Riley Green, let me know. We'll tap into it. Y'all know I love country music. So if y'all want more country reactions, period. Just let me know and we'll dive into it. Other than that, stay safe. Catch y'all on the next one.